Good morning, folks. We're starting today on the eastern incoming limb, what will soon be facing Earth on our star. A big plasma filament is seen entering view, and there must also be a nearby sunspot because we see short plasma bursts coming from close proximity, as we've seen before. We don't have much choice but to watch what's incoming, because the Earth-facing portion of the sun is quite calm. Let's jump over to spaceweathernews.com and find solar flaring, still getting ready for solar minimum. The flares are gone because the sunspots are vanishing, especially those that wander too far into Earth's view and begin decaying like these. Solar wind speed, in yellow, still dropping, along with the plasma temperature in green. We've got some reverberations from last week's magnetic storms, but they are waning now for sure. However, more storms could crop up when the stream from that dark northern corona hole arrives. The lead edge made the storms last week, but the bulk mass is on its way right now. You may also remember that quake power had been low with that opening, and furthermore, it is still the same positive opening as before, green opposed to red. And alas, we stay in moderate shake range with these as the tops of the day. We also had some rumbles in Oklahoma. This is for Michael F. and the other natural gas shills that showed up for the last fracking article. Take your arguments up with the USGS seismologists if you disagree. Top news. Latest southern ozone hole maximum is at hand. Link is found below from NOAA along with polar ice tracking. The Arctic is continuing its three-year recovery despite the brutal El Nino, but we can't say the same for the South. After three years of record high Antarctic ice, these warmer waters have dominated the South Pole this year. How about one, two, three water spout tornadoes in China? Not unheard of here, but certainly not as common as they are in the United States. And speaking of the United States, let's go see them, Canada and Mexico. We're at WindyTY.com. Big lows, surging wind speed to red on either side of the continent. But let's do a west focus and set time forward to see how badly the Canadian coastline is going to get this one, along with moisture stolen by a central Canadian low. It's all looking north of the U.S. today. Well, almost all of it. Here's what western Mexico has on tap. Europe. Please eye three small low-pressure nodes, and then keep those in mind for the radar and satellite combination. Pressure movement drives the storm movement. Eyes open. And down under, we still see pressure nodes wanting to meet between nations. And indeed, when we zoom in, I almost can't believe that same convergence line is prominent. Folks, Yesterday's episode of Fly on the Wall touches on a number of important topics, but perhaps none more interesting, confounding, and indicative of our near-term future than the phenomenon known as the Earth-facing solar quiet. If you think the sun is preferring to fire away from Earth, you've noticed what literally hundreds of thousands of us have noticed as well. We discussed it in detail. If you aren't a member at suspiciousobservers.org, it is about as cheap as these things get, four bucks a month or the whole year for less than $30. For the price of a Blu-ray, you get hundreds of hours of material with more added every week. Let's go to our current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.